Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how to repartition your hard drive. It could be the one that's built into your computer or an external one that you plug in through a USB cable. So we're going to be looking at an external one that I have. I've got two local drives here, but I also have a third one here that I just plugged in. And you can see that this has multiple partitions on it. And you may have that that was probably because it was a brand name computer and they have these extra partitions set up when they install Windows. They don't just have the one drive like I have for mine on the C drive I installed using just the Windows installer so it has one big C drive. But on this other one if we look up here we can see there's two partitions that are fairly small with no name, no drive letter. Then we've got a large partition for Windows. Then they got another partition just big enough to store some tools on it. And then they've got another small partition for a recovery environment that is not just the Windows recovery, but it's the manufacturer's recovery, which will include their drivers specific to that machine as well as other crapware that comes with it. So you might not want to use that one if you want to reinstall Windows and have it nice and clean because although this will put drivers in they may be very outdated and also it's going to include all the crapware that came with the computer originally that you probably already removed. So what we want to do is maybe remove these two partitions and make more space on this. So if we see down here, it's highlighting the Windows one. And if we can imagine it's not quite big enough, but we want to give it a bit more space, then we can take out this one, which is over here, and this recovery partition, which is at the very end. So we can do this by clicking over here. You can right click on it and you can go up to delete partition. You could also come over here and right click on the drive letter there and go to delete partition. It asks you to delete the partition quickly without wiping the data, which is fine if you're just using it for yourself or delete the partition and wipe the data on it if it had confidential information on it and you were giving this computer to someone else. In this particular partition, there's no personal data at all, so it doesn't matter. So we'll just delete it quickly. We'll hit OK. And it's basically gone, but it's not quite gone yet because we need to come up here to apply the changes. Then it will confirm that it's ready to proceed. So we can hit proceed. Are you sure you want to start? Yes. And it runs through it fairly quick and says it's done. So we can hit OK. We can also delete both of them at the same time if we wanted to before hitting apply. So we would just right click on this one, delete and do the exact same thing. Now that both partitions are removed, we have this extra bit of space that's not being used. Although it looks like there's another partition there, uh, it, there really isn't. It's just empty space. So if we click on this here, we can see it highlights there. That's the one that it's talking about. But it's showing that it's got all this free space as much as the capacity. So it's not being used at all and it has no drive letter on it. Although these ones don't have drive letters either. They're actual partitions that are being used. So if we want to take this now and add that to this space, we can right click on the Windows partition and say resize or move. And now we've got this extra space to the right of it. And you can see that there's, it's kind of showing a little bit gray here. So we can grab this and just drag it right over to the very end. Once you have it exactly the way you want, then you can hit OK. And it shows down here that it's now taking up all that extra space, but it's not done yet. Just like before, we got to go up here to apply and proceed. Yes. And congratulations, it is now done. And we've now just increased the capacity of our main drive and cleared out those extra little unused partitions. You can also do that to the ones in front if you want as well. 
but depending on how your system was configured, it might be using them to boot from, and if you delete those, your system might not boot anymore. So be careful with deleting partitions. If anything, you might want to do a clone image backup of your disk before screwing around with this stuff. So if things go backwards or sideways, then you can definitely undo it by restoring from your image backup. And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.